in there, Clark's in there. Clarkson going in, Big Bob Pilk gets the first tap of the day. It goes down here. Here's a chance now once again for Holmes. He can't pick it up. Hicks in there too. He can't get away with it. Miles goes through, can't get away with it either. It's still in the centre patch. Trevor Clark gets his boot to it. Out towards the centre wing it comes. Big Dave Gill goes through there, goes to the ground, gets the ball away there to Kev Salmon. From the centre of the cricket pitch, drives Kurt into attack for the first time. Up towards Halbert Cooper from behind, can't pull it down, grabs it, clears out towards the wing. Clark and Dylan doing battle, comes down off hand, Holmes a chance. In comes Big Mouth and her kick, uh, Hill, soccers it off the ground. Up to Cale at the centre of the ground, his kick high up in the air. Clarkson running in for them, not comes down off hand, a chance for Darrell Hicks to put him into attack. He misses the ball with his kick, stock it off the ground to Halbert. Halbert into attack, but there's Trevor off, waiting in defence. Gibraltar takes the easiest of Mark, gets the lead here from Cahill, but doesn't want it as Trevorov settles foot down very early and drives up towards the center of the ground, gets under it, but a good-looking kick comes down off hands to Shearman. He can't grab it. In goes home. Shearman there as well, pushing the ball in front of him, picks up, kicks high up in the air, very nervous players here to start with as the ball is fisted away from Cahill and will go out over the boundary line. Man, I couldn't understand off there. He had a lead from Cale, a good lead. He ignored it and kicked it straight back to where Shearman was. From the throw-in on the half-forward right flank, comes down quickly to Chessel. Chessel gets his boot to the ball. Gertz are into attack, the bounce favours Trevor Ops eventually. He traps it beautifully, puts them out of attack. Up where through comes Phil Nelson, drives at the ball, heavily missed by Cale. Picked up quickly by Phil Brooks, mother there beautifully off Phil Brooks' boot. Up towards Haslam, in goes Chessel to help. Stock it off the ground, Porter into attack as Freeman comes to meet the ball. Puts the ball onto his right foot. Brought her into attack, down towards the full forward arrow, and it goes. Off hand, Kessler, builds him in there, trying to pick the ball up, does so. Pulled off the ball, stuck it off the ground, and first blood to Port Adelaide. Freeman looked good down here. He, 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 he got a very early side of that ball. He came out and met it promptly, and all the foam in the world had turned and drove it right in. He read the ball a lot quicker than Jarrett, and whether these contact ends are helping him, I don't know. But at this stage, he, he certainly read that ball early. Waiting on Bruce Jarrett, he's going out to the eastern side of the ground. He's got Jessel out there, Clarkson out there too. There goes his kick. Clarkson's home. No, it goes out of his hands. And here's a chance for Bruce Nyland. Over it comes once again. And Brendan Adcock, reliable backman for Sturt, falls to his knees, takes a nice mark, and he'll drive right down the eastern wing. There goes his kick. A good-looking kick. And it goes over the heads of players. Leading in the race for the ball is Holmes, but it's over the boundary line. And Clarkson's going to run in, so too there. Going in is Big Bob Silk, number 13. 20 is Clarkson. There they go. Down it comes. Tail around the pack there. There's a chance for Haslam. Can he get the run of it? He can't. Slotters it off the ground. It goes right down here, but it's going out over the boundary line. And the score. Port Adelaide, one point. Sturt yet to open their account. And they've been playing just around about three minutes. A few minutes later, a free disturbs Trevor Clark. Tilbrook down there, he's going to find him. Nice mark taken by John Tilbrook. They're going to have to watch this boy, Port Adelaide, if they want to take this one out. He played very well last week. There goes his kick, right over to the 10-yard square it goes. The players play. Nobody can just sight this ball. They lose sight of it. It's going right through, and I think it's right Freak. through. Free kick. That's a free. Free kick to Jones. Bagshaw looks tired today. I don't know. He, he just doesn't seem to have his usual snap in himself. I don't know if, it, if he's just saving himself, but he doesn't look to have the usual spring that Bagshaw's got. And, uh, with he looks a little bit tired. You don't often see that. But he's locked down already, too. However, soon after, Port scored through Potter. Yes, from up towards the wing position, and he finds Gill. Gill leading in front there, of course, plays on quickly to Cale, dropping down. He created the loose man, and Port are into attack. It's quickly claimed there by Nelson. Cale kicked towards Seven. Seven running back, but in comes Potter, and takes a great mark great under mark. a lot of pressure. Of course, Where did he come from? Oh, he had Adcock then very strongly, and held his ground, and he took a great mark there under pressure. 30 yards out. On a very slight angle, Potter boots it in towards goal for Port Adelaide. No worries, right through the middle. And Port Adelaide retaliates with a goal through Jeffrey Potter. Now into the 
time on period and Sturt goal again. Then cleverly shoots it down here towards the full forward area, but for mine it's Sturt. Yes, here's a chance for Emmy Jones. We now pick up play 12 minutes into the second turn, Sturt kicking to the scoreboard or the northern end. Clarkson gets a beautiful tap down to Sherman. Sherman gets it onto his left foot, drives up towards Joe. Joe goes into the big beauty. Good man. Oh, he's hurting himself, I think. Oh, he's hurt himself, I think. He's just winded, I think. Oh, he's rolling on the ball, he is. He lobbed on the ball, a magnificent uh, effort by Jones there. He is 20 yards out. He's on a fairly acute angle, probably can't see much of the goal. He's not more than two or three feet, but he's he pretty it. accurate from this distance. And there's his drop punt. What's he done now? He's picked it up. Now late in the second quarter and a throw in on the eastern side of the ground. The throw in, Hill and uh, Big Bob Philp. Down it goes Terry Short in there, Haslam in there too. Socket off the ground by Salmon. Chessel coming through now, breaks his way clear. Over towards Darrell Hicks. Hicks turns into trouble, drops the ball. Here's Salmon, he goes to the ground too. Gets it out quickly there, but Potter uh, Taylor couldn't get it. Here's a chance for Nelson. Socket off the ground by Potter. Haslam coming in there. Hicks in there. Nelson. Short. Everybody's having a bash at it. I'm the only bloke that hasn't had a kick. Here's Johnny Kale now. Down it goes. But it's the ever reliable Brett Adcock dropping back there. Adcock dropped back nicely. Stemmed another drive by the Port Adelaide forwards. Here he's going to come out to the grandstand wing. He's got Nyland out here with Hicks. And it's Nyland all the way. Nyland takes it. Falls to the ground. Miles there. Hicks there. Bob Phil just walking away. Bruce Nyland, 24 for Port Adelaide. Left foot kick, not a bad looking kick either. Here's a chance for Freeman, a beautiful lead, and it came off. Well, I don't know where Eric's, in. Eric's getting a bit of Haslam's hard. going off by the looks of things. Haslam's going off. Ashley McKay coming off. Well, he doesn't appear to be anything wrong with him as Ashley McKay runs on there. And uh, Freeman has a shot, a goal. What a magnificent oh. kick. It's going high up in the air. It's a goal. 55 to 60 yards out. And that was Freeman's third goal. Now back to umpire Cunningham at the centre bounce area. Tap down towards Nyland. Nyland breaks clear, gets it onto his left foot. Draws is leading in the race for the ball there with Erie. Erie ball gets a nice handball over to Gill, but Gill kicks it high in the air awesome. and gives all third players a run at the ball as Clark moves back, called in by his teammates and takes the mark. Clark settles back to take the kick up along the flank with a punt kick. Drives towards the wing position. Drillbrook getting underneath it. Spears there first but neither can get to the ball before it goes out over the boundary line for a throw-in on the centre wing on the far side of the ground. Sambo Salmon, number 27, doing battle in ruck now with uh, big Malcolm Hill. In comes Brook as well, gets a tap down. Over towards Clark, Rigney chips in, gets clear onto his left foot, gets it up towards centre-half forward. Uh, Tilbrook doing battle there, takes the mark, play on, gets the handball away, but it's not a good run. Fist it away again. This yeah. gives the helmet the run at the ball. He's well clear of Cooper. Pick it up if he can, he does. Drives third into attack with a high punch kick, getting up towards Clayton. Jones flies high, comes down off hand. The crew oh, comes out of way, clearing strongly for Port Adelaide. Drives towards the boundary line and kicks it straight out of the and I know that's Port have shifted Freeman out the centre half forward and they've dropped trainer in, into full forward. Uh, this is the, this is the boy I think they're looking for a lift from in Freeman. He's uh, he's the boy that boss has got his hopes pinned in across that half forward line. Hill in there making front position this time. He couldn't get it. Spears gets his kick down there. Johnny Kale going after the ball. He's making a lot of places. Still in play. He's got it. No, the boundary umpire says you're too late, brother. It went over the boundary line. There's players down on the ground everywhere as we're waiting for this ball to be retrieved. The score, 7 goals, 7, 49, Sturt. 5 goals, 2, 32, Port Adelaide. A margin of 17 points to the Sturt team at this stage. And they've been playing four minutes into the time on period. There's Hill going in once again. Bob Pilk coming in too. Hill gets the knock again and it goes right towards the boundary line. Clark retrieves it before it goes over. Gets it away to Rigney. Back to Clark again. And here's a beautiful one over towards Phil Brook. And nice mark by Phil Brook. There's what he's hit. And pulled it in. Now he's a big fella, this Phil Brook. There goes his kick. Looking for Jones again, but Jones can't get there on this occasion. Halbert's in there. He boots. But it's a wild kick and it's out of bounds. It's offline. And time is fast running out in this particular quarter. It must be almost half time.
77 Sturt, 5 2 Port Adelaide from the throw in in the Sturt full forward right pocket. Salmon and Ruck makes front position, gets a tap down to Potter. Potter, who's been strangely quiet today, gets a kick up to the half back flank where Spears well in advance of Tilbrook, who looks a bit dishevelled at this stage. Uh, Spears takes the mark. Spears clears towards the centre wing position. Jessel from behind. Oh, beautiful mark pulled down there by Gill. He loses it though. Flips over now, all over the next by Chessel, but Gill plays on. Up towards full forward it goes, the centre half forward it goes, where Freeman leads in the race for the ball. Through comes Bagshaw, very cool in defence. Spears with a beautiful pass, up to Dunn. Dunn plays on, gets the handball over to Hex, Dunn created the loose man. Dunn doesn't know where to go, gets the helmet on the lead, and there it is. Oh, Charles Malpas prepared the pivot, Halbert gets himself back in Will. Seven seven led Port Adelaide five two at half time, and we now see Port Adelaide into attack early in the third quarter. And ball away, but how? Uh, Taylor intercepts, goes for a short pass. Freeman again. Fully played in by Stewart. Ah, oh, ridiculous. Well, this is the type of stuff that's got them in trouble in the second semi. In, and you would have thought they would have learnt their lesson. That that play there from Bagshaw was ridiculous play. Freeman cuts off the hand up towards full four. Rain drops it. Potter snaps some goals. Ballard there. At this stage, Port Adelaide 6-3, Sturt 7-8. Oh, but anyhow, down it goes towards centre half forward. Oh, what a good player this fella is. He doesn't waste any time. Oh. And it's Kale again. Kale coming into again. Down it goes to Dennis Erie. Port's breaking away. And they can't let them do this, Sturt. There goes his kick. It's right over here. There's Freeman. He's blind. Oh. Is Chessel out here wide? Not a good kick this time. Dennis Airy again. Dennis Airy, he's not going to waste any kick. He's going to put this right deep down. He's got big Steve Trainer there. Oh, the shot and it didn't come off. Oh, here's a chance though once again. Handball on, it goes to Kale. Kale drives down here. Oh, and Bagshaw. Bagshaw only had four kicks in the first half. He had one just now, and this is his sixth kick for the whole match. Terry Short gathers the ball in. Down it goes right along the far side of the ground, but it's out of bounds. The score, seven goals, eight, 50 points, third, 6-3, 39, Port Adelaide. An interesting point here. I see that Port have finally got Airy over on uh, Hicks. They were trying to change their wings early in the, in the, the third quarter. Uh, they've lined up that way. Hill comes in over the top, gets the tap away. It comes out quickly to Clark. Clark going the wrong way, but Short chips in. Gets a kick up towards the centre of the ground where Holmes coming through nicely. Oh, heavily met with what I thought was a legitimate bump, but it's a... Uh, oh, never. Not in a hundred years. But that's why Cunningham has played it, so that's two of you that agree. Uh, Holm from the uh, centre wing position up towards the centre of the ground. Fisted away. A chance now for Spencer. He gets pushed off the ball beautifully. A chance now for Rigney to clear. Gets a handball over to Adcock. It's gone astray. In there's Pilgrim. Bags will try to break his way through. He's oh, gone. Oh, holding the ball. And this is this boy's big failing. A little bit, uh, a little bit hard there. Yeah, he, he was he tripped as he, as he took possession. And, uh, but uh, this is this is Paul's one failing. Is he, he thinks he's got plenty of time. Ashley McKay it is to take the free Left kick. Left quarter two. 25 yards out. Lines up from goal. It doesn't look a good looking point. Dragged it offline. One point only. And Port Adelaide is making a very determined bid to snatch back this lead that Sturt have set up during the first half. I can imagine what Foster Williams would have said to them during the half time interval. The blues of the paint, I think, Blair. Uh, incidentally, Sports are kicking with they the breeze in they're, this they're, quarter. They've got to set up an advantage here. Over towards the half-back flag it goes, and Clarkson comes through and takes the easiest of marks. Clarkson from the half-back left flank drives up towards the centre of the ground. Chairman and Kale wait for the ball. Yeah, Chairman yeah. over the top, takes a very strong mark. Kale, who showed signs of getting on top there for a while, but Chairman has come back strongly now. And after having kicked, had 10 kicks in the first quarter, John Cale, he was subdued somewhat in the second quarter and only had four. Chairman kicked up towards the half-forward line. Holmes playing a lot better now. Flies caught out of attack, out of defence, up towards Salmon. Salmon there takes the mark, and Port Adelaide are in attack. Oh, oh. oh. Knocking handball there by Salmon. Where to stay as Cale made the break, but three comes Spears. Gets it up towards Salmon again. In there is uh, uh, Swords. Nelson there forcing the ball in front of him. Back drives in towards goal. This is going to be a goal. A magnificent play by John Cale. And this player is lifting Ford off his own boot and lifted them 
into a magnificent goal and Port now move into seven, move on to seven goals for only trailing Sturt by four points. A few minutes later, Sturt came right back into things. Chairman, he gets it out to Dunn. Dunn drives on with his left foot up to the wing position, up towards Halbert, in there is Holmes now. He's on top of Miles at this stage, tries to get his right foot at the ball, can't do so. Miles battling hard with a ball in front of him, picks it up, gets a long hand ball over to Clark. Clark balks, breaks his way clear, Sturts are into attack again now with a long kick, up towards Severovs, he can't get it, Nicky into the open goal, if he can pick it up it's in, oh! Beautiful kick from Clark, gave Roger Rigney the run of the ball, but he was sat upon there by the Port Adelaide players. He's being taken right around. You can see Trevor Ob standing his mark, but Roger Rigney from three yards out, and boy, the Port need this. He missed it. it at the shocker. Off the side of his boot, he's in a lot of trouble, holding his back there. He oh, just that was a terrible upon. kick. But uh, he should never have missed from that one, and Port Adelaide uh, breathe again. Beautiful sunshine, time fast running out in this third term. And Sturt looking to be just a little bit the better at this stage. There goes the kick, Kale and Sherman in there. Kale made front position, Silver goes through. He goes to the ground heavily. Play it on, says the umpire. Down there, Rickney's there. He's there, throws the ball away. The umpire is clear. Oh, there were about four marks there that he didn't see, but he saw the one which favours Sturt. That's the main thing. But I think the screw will take the ball away. Oh, he slipped. Up towards the ball. Oh, right out in front. What a lucky one. This boy's having a row today. That's the first easy one, I'd say. He's got in. He's fought for his others. But there again, he judged the... He's, oh, I won't say he judged the mystic, but he read the mystic earlier than anybody else. And he threw himself there to take a nice mark in front of goal. Lines it up there. Straight through the middle. Oh, no worries at all. That's his sixth goal. Three-quarter time scores were Sturt 9-12, Port Adelaide 7-7, and now into the last quarter. Desperate defence by Port kicking short. out a short pass across to Shearman, who's come off. He's 20 yards closer to goal, and Shearman is 55 yards out right in front. And you can see Shearman now taking in a deep breath there. He's got it in his mind. Can I kick this one for Sturt? If I can, this could be the grand final. Lines up the kick. A beautiful oh, drop kick right up towards goal. Oh! Runners on the field. I would say he's setting out his congratulations from Jack Odie, but it's not over yet. Now, several minutes later, back at the centre bounce area. Salmon's in there, so too is Hill. Spencer in there. Dunn gets it, gets his boot to it. Out it comes here towards Miles. Miles turns, he's on his own. Sinks the boot once again. Down here towards Emmy Jones, but it's Trevor Ops. Ops takes it on. No, no worries. You're a good job. <laughs> Trevor Ops goes back. He's played a great game in defence today for Ports. There goes the kick right Bank down off. here. Malcolm Hill, Bagshaw oh. in there. Hill. Yes, Hill all the way. What a good player what he's a, been for Sturts. What a valuable player he's been over the finals. This fella, he's certainly an improvement on the hill we saw last year in the finals. This boy's taking about seven marks today. Look at the pass. Oh, oh what a magnificent pass there. Uh, Malcolm Hill is probably the greatest acquisition Sturts have got all year, that's for sure. As Malcolm Hill led beautifully, got the pass, and he's 45 yards out, he's right in front. He can kick this, he's up too he's far. He's up with a drop punt, he'll be lucky to make the distance. He's there it is, he's off. What is it? It's right through the middle, and there it is, it's his seventh goal. Now watch this pass from Tilbrook to Clarkson. Shows a punter dash, drives in towards goal, Clarkson! It is set for the 1966 Premiership. And brilliant play by Tourbrook. Then he raced in, hit the ball on from the, from the uh, Port Adelaide defenders. Oh, that gap on drove in a magnificent pass to, Clark, pass to Clarkson. That is Clarkson's second goal. The score is 13 goals, 13 points, 7 goals, 8. And the game is almost over. There's only 7 minutes of actual time playing. 
plus time off. Back at the centre bound, Spencer gets the tap down over towards Spears. He kicks it the wrong way. Miles is under the ball, fisted away from him, given Nyland the run of the ball. He picks it up, bolts beautifully around Miles, drives him with an underground punt, gives Gill the run of the ball. Quickly over to Kale. Kale drives it in towards goal, but it's all third back there as Banks are now in defence. And this player would be. Oh, he would have taken this high. Yeah, he would have taken eight marks in this last quarter. Done out here, lose on this side. Checking on the statistics, I believe uh, Bagshaw only had four kicks to half time. Boy, do you reckon he's come into it in his last quarter? Over towards the half-back flank it goes. Down off hands. In there is Chessel. Turns out of the double beautifully. The long hand ball over to Clark. Clark drives along the wing, driving for the boundary line. Up there is Tilbrook. Oh. A magnificent mark. Plays on quickly, showing magnificent strength. Over towards Miles. Miles getting out of the ball. Flies high. Can't hold it. Holmes there. Clears, but it's not a good kick. A chance now for Jones. Jones, if he can get there. Holmes is a beaten player. As Jones pushes the ball out in front of him. Gets the handball out to Miles. Clarkson comes in for the Shepherd. Miles there. Drives in towards goal. But it's off line for one point only. Gee, they're tired, these Port boys. You've all got to have a look at them. Both sides have done their very best for their jumpers today. But it looks like a double blue victory as the players have got the added incentive now. They're leading by six, seven goals, and they have got the incentive. Port Adelaide, realising that they've got the job in front of them, would have to kick seven goals in six minutes, and I don't think they can do it. Uh, at the 19-minute mark, and there's the kick from Clayton. High out it goes, and here's a chance once again for Tilbrook. Right back, but Clayton flies in there, but it's one point only. Shortly after, Jones kicked his eighth goal, and now we see Sturt attacking again in the closing minutes. He can't do anything with it. Here's a chance now once again for Nylon to break it away. Down the grandstand wing it goes, but it's going out over the boundary line. Ah, that's no. a stupid three. three. That's going to be bad. taken by Ashley McKay. Three to be taken by Port Adelaide's Ashley McKay. Further afield it goes. Big Bob Philp there. Here's a chance to... Here's a chance now, but oh, Colin Moore snaps, but it goes out of bounds. You've been out only way tonight. Oh, it'll be Get the red in. paint out if you're out that way. They're going to paint it red for sure. And you can't blame them. It's their first premiership, I think, since 1940. And no doubt Jack Odie would be the happiest man in Australia, if not the happiest man in the world and in outer space, too. I take that into uh, it. Blair, if I was Jack Odie, I'd, I'd pay a little uh, tribute to uh, Murphy here. I'd bring him on and let this boy face the blood here because here's a boy that's given Sturt valuable service over the years. And I'd bring him on just to let him face the blood of this win. Here's Spencer. He can't pick it up. Chessel in there. Spencer's grab. Throws it almost. Here's a chance once again for Spears. Oh, too high. He's got to get a free. He does so. Another free going to Port Adelaide. And uh, Spears will drive right down towards centre half forward. But they might as well give it away because it's all over. They're at the, uh, just checking on the clock, they're at the 22 minute mark now. Here's a chance once again. Clark turns, gets it onto his right foot, kicks into the man though. Here's Paul Bankshaw. He can't get it. Clark gets it once again. There goes his kick. Right out towards Bankshaw. It's right out on the boundary line. Players battling there. Nobody can pick it up. And I think the umpire will come in and bounce this one eventually. Soon after this bounce, Sturt broke away once again and John Halbert goes. Now back to the centre. Today it's the double blues all the way. And they're at the 29 minute mark. It's just a formality now. Bob Philp gets a mighty knock but it's Terry Short comes in. Gets his left foot to it, out towards Miles on oh, the grandstand the wing. Here's Hicks. a chance for Hicks. He's doing battle in there. Gathers it in quickly. Down it goes, but it's out over the boundary line again. From the throw-in, Port Adelaide went into attack once again with time running out. They're not giving up. They know it's hopeless, but they're not giving up. There's Ashley Mackay. Turns cleverly. Gets onto his left foot, shoots it down. And there's a chance for a goal. And they've got it. Not that it's much good to them, but they've got it. They need about ten more of them. Yes, it's all over, but it's, uh, they're not giving up, and they've been playing five and a half minutes of time on now, and the time is two minutes to five on the scoreboard. It can't be much longer, I'm sure. Well, it certainly hasn't been Magpie Day here today. Their seconds were hopelessly outclassed by Nord, and now Sturt have done the same thing. And I might, I might add here, this is the first side this year that won the semi-final the second semi-final to be defeated in the grand final. 
just goes to show you they need this game in these between times. I reckon they do at any rate. From the kickoff, it's uh, Hicks puts them into attack again, but Elloway comes out for the ball, decides to go for a run, drives the ball right up towards the half forward line, getting Nelson. underneath it is Nelson over the top, can't pull it down at all. But uh, oh, Spencer right. claims the mark, wasn't paid it, stuck it off the ground, and it comes out to short. Short, a short pass up towards Rigney. Rigney breaks his way clear, gets a short one up looking for Miles, and is down. Yeah. The final scores again, Sturt 16-16, defeated Port Adelaide 8 goals 8 in the 1966 Grand Final. Yeah, what a proud man he must be. It's very good here to see the Port side waiting on the ground to see Sturt accept the, accept the trophy. Where I would like to place on record my congratulations to Jack Odie and to the Sturt players for the magnificent effort in winning this 1966 Grand Final. There is it is. John Halbert holding up the big trophy. He's waited a long time for that. And so has Jack Odie. He's coached many premiers or many sides that have gone down in the last few kicks of these grand finals. But today he's right on top. And uh, well done, Jack. You've done a great job with Sturt and my congratulations to you. Also to Foster Williams. Uh, Foster's always around the place. There he is now moving over to congratulate Jack Odie. You can't see him in your screen there now. But congratulations to Foster Williams and Port Adelaide for the way they played today's game.